Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Free Fruit. This is episode 35, and in this episode we'll be doing something very special. We'll be creating a highly detailed university in the middle of downtown. This will be Free Fruit's second university. The first we built in episode 24, and it's gonna be a big project, so you don't wanna miss a second of it. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praise like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do about it? Loving your vibe, girl. That energy got me going. So I thought I'd talk about what's happening on the screen right now. As you all should know by now, Procedural Objects is one of my favorite mods. It really opens up so much customization options to the game and really allows you to do some impossible things in my opinion. As you can see I'm using a mix of ploppable concrete surfaces, vanilla pads, some of them elevated. 
I was trying to create ramps for accessibility and I'm using some of the stairs off the workshop there in the form of a network which makes the placement of them a lot easier and I'm also using ploppable grass surfaces and I'm modifying them with PO procedural objects <laughs> and I'm using retaining walls off the workshop and more ploppable grass for custom planters there's really a lot going on right now and on top of that you're gonna see me start to design some custom signs for the university I'm not going too crazy at first just some abbreviated abbreviated letters with purple as a theme color background but really you'll see a little bit now but really in the cinematics how this came together which I think it came together very remarkably so let me know if you want me to link some of the assets my asset in my collection is still under construction so just leave a comment if you have a question about something here or somewhere else in the video and uh yeah I just wanted to say all of that so we're gonna go back to the music and I'll talk to you again later in the video
So once again on the screen, you're seeing me finish and place some more custom signs. Really, I found some procedural objects fonts on the workshop that actually have each letter correspond to a shape, which allowed me to put a hospital logo for <laughs> FitMed. I actually really enjoyed creating, I guess not only as a hospital, but as a successful medical school for the university. I did give it an individual name, Granetta L. Dorsey Hospital, but I imagine when I created it, you know, the story of it, as a probably, um, I assumed it was probably bought out by the hospital we built all the way back in episode 12, I believe, as a sort of expansion or partnership or both, um, probably to keep both hospitals and the medical school itself thriving, especially since they're relatively close together. One's in the heart of downtown and one is just outside of it. But really, I love creating the stories behind a lot of things in Freeford and really the founding of Freeford itself in a world where it exists in the United States. I even made like a Google Slides thing where I edited the map of the United States and I kind of fit the state of Wakenden in between Alabama and Georgia. Uh, I planned out the interstate highway connections and the river connections. And really, I just tried to make it make sense in today's world. I just don't typically share all of that. Um, but a huge part of what makes a city a city is its story. So I'm definitely going to start sharing more of these stories in the future. But yeah, here we are building another college, Freeford Institute of Technology or Freeford Tech. You could say it's a rival of the first one um, we built in episode 24, but or you you know, maybe not, because who knows, maybe there's another college coming to Freeford in the future. But I've been talking for a while, so I'll leave you with that. Um, enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll talk to you before the ending cinematics. be a weekend lover yeah i'ma be the best lover you got i wanna mess up your covers i don't wanna meet your mother never ever ask me how i've been remember why you have my number i'm the best thing that has ever happened to you here's your time to shine i'll show me what you can do Feel on your body, the way we're moving in the dark.
can do Make a move The way my hands feel on your body The way we're dancing in the dark With every move I make you're falling
we're getting towards the end of the video. You'll see me detailing around the United Center Arena asset. I placed it there in episode 20 with the Freeford Riverwalk and I just decided to go ahead and make this arena basically property of the university or at least mostly. I mean, there's plenty of potential scenarios for how the school could like own or share the facility, but it really just worked out that it was here in the first place, close to where I was building Free For Tech. And also there were some blocks and of buildings I built for episode 20 that are just kind of filler space in between the riverfront and the center parts of downtown. And a lot of those buildings I had mixed feelings, didn't like or didn't care about. So some of them I actually deleted to make more space for the university, which actually gave those spaces a lot better use and visual appeal but we are approaching the ending cinematics so once again i will remind you to leave a like subscribe hit the notification bell and leave a helpful comment it could be about the editing the question about something i did an asset you want to find yourself on the workshop and or things you want to see in free fruit <laughs> whatever it may be go ahead and leave that comment but thank you for watching, enjoy the cinematics, and I'll see you all next time. The music stopped and you were gone. And I was hoping for another dawn. Now I'm looking everywhere for you. Cause I need another dance, we need another chance. I'm Hoping for another dawn Now I'm looking everywhere for you Cause I need another dance We need another chance